Did you read that? That's it coming guys, and welcome to the room. I was looking through my game folder files of whatever RPG games or whatever, and I found this game. It looks spooky. Uh, someone probably suggested it to me. So I have no idea. Warning, the first half of the game is very text heavy. There's a lot of talking. Yeah, let's go. You might as well get the the story here. <sighs> I'm tired. Attending university lectures continuously for eight hours, tiring for sure. I murmured to myself while walking the road, watching the death and the lights of this ever-buzzing city. It's only been a week since I arrived at this city to attend the university. Previously, I lived in a small town and completed my high school there. So I don't know much about the life of the cities. A lot of vehicles passed by while I engulfed in my thoughts. I look at my watch. It's 7.19pm. This is bad. I'd better hurry. After walking for a while, I leave behind the main area of the city. I come across the road that I use every day to commute to the university. Usually, this road remains devoid of vehicles most of the time, and I use it just because it saves some time to reach my apartment. I actually did a let's uh, test play. Uh, I read all the intro, and I actually got a good ending <laughs> on my first try. Uh, you, you'll see how fast I can get the good ending. A sudden gust of chilly wind disrupts my monologue. This is why I hate winter. Winter has turned really harsh today. I think to myself while chattering my teeth. I put my hands in the pocket in the pocket of my jacket and try to protect myself from the blood freezing chilly wind. I walk for some time thinking about what I'll do after reaching my apartment. Suddenly Cell phone ringing. Sounds like it's playing backwards. Somebody's calling. I take my cell phone out of my pocket. Who's calling? It's my mom. She calls me every day to know how, how I'm doing. <laughs> Does she still think that I'm a small child who can't take care of himself? Oh, I'm playing as a guy. But I'm saying this because when I got to actually play, I looked like a girl. I'm a grown-up university attending guy, but if I don't pick up, she'll call me again. In a system, so it would be better if I pick the phone up. Hello, mom. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. There's no reply. I'm just a network problem. Yeah, that's why we need the ominous noise. <laughs> There's a network problem. I'll give her a call later on. Right now, I'm feeling very tired. I better hurry. Just five more, just five minutes more to have my apartment. Walking alone in this road in the evening makes your mind feel at ease. But it's only when you're not tired. Right now, I'm too tired. And don't mention the stress of studying complex algorithm. I got a lot of topics to study, and I'm sure I'm not going to do any today. Tonight, I want a good deep sleep. Hey, did I mentioned there are too many stray dogs in this area, and I'm scared of them. Ha! And one of them died. Finally, I reached my destination. This huge building standing before me contains my apartment. It has got five floors with two apartments on each floor. This music sounds familiar. My apartment number is seven. I got it after a very cheap price. Blah blah blah. Do I need to read this? It's, it's just basically telling that he got the apartment cheap. And the landlord is friendly. He's got a refrigerator. Washing machine, like basic stuff. The student apartment. And the neighbors, he don't know about the neighbors. This seems very unsocial. Uh, there's, he has no neighbors on his floor. That's pretty much it. Ascending the stairs. Too much narrative. Narrative, whatever. But I like the picture she's showing here. It's kind of very spooky. And looks very real. Except this one. This looks. This one looks not real. But somehow it does. Maybe it is real. Alright, let's unlock it and head inside. Oh man! I just played it! Why is it... Oh, okay. It's the thing where I can't press F12 to reset the game. I did that. Okay, hang on. 
Okay, we got to the point now. Uh, yeah, I'm moving. Whoa, did I forget to turn off the lights today? It would be better if I make something to eat. I'm dying of hunger right now. Well, you're also tired. So I'm guessing this is made in RPG Maker Ace. VX. VX Ace or something like that. I'm pretty tired right now. I must call it a day then. But first, I got to turn off the light. I think of the environment and electricity bills. Well, you are students. You don't have a job. Oh, that's midnight. Who's calling at such a time? I really don't want to get up. Save game? Yeah, save the game. Get up? No. Curse your damn phone. Just let me sleep. One thing that I hate the most is waking up in the dead of the night to pick a damn phone. Screw you! I'll see the phone in the more. Uh, tomorrow. Get back to sleep without worrying about the phone call. That's okay. Everyone gets the chance gets the chance to experience paranormal things. And that's the good end, guys! <laughs> I in my play in my test play I, I said no, and I got a good end. So let's wake up. I guess I got to pick up that phone. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Why aren't you saying anything? Mom, is that you? Just say something! Whoa, that is... Oh, no! My ass! What kind of sick joke is this? Okay. It's dead. Where's my room? Oh! This thing is shining. Oh, I can run. That's the same. Fair enough. No need to. Oh, okay. This must be. Okay. The hell? Again? Hello. Who is this? Just say something if you want. Else, don't call. Just say something. That shit again, man, it creeps my own playing cops party where it play with your ears, man. Cell phone ringing. Great, now my cell phone has started ringing. So you have your cell phone on this whole time? Now, what does she want with me this time? She called me a few hours ago. Hello, Mom? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Tell me, why did you start fighting with me when I called you this evening? Huh? This evening? You didn't even reply. What? I talked to you straight for 15 minutes. You picked up the phone and started talking nonsense and said, don't call me again. Mom, how is that possible? No one replied when I picked up your call. Enemy, are you the one who's been calling me on this on the telephone? Telephone? When did you buy it? It belongs to the previous owner. No, I don't know the number to the telephone. I was just calling you on your cell phone, but it just wouldn't connect. It connect. Okay, this is very confusing when he does this. At least change when other people are talking. What? Now I remember. That telephone is supposed to be dead, just like always. How come a dead phone started ringing? I'll call you later. A cult. I was about to experience the worst terror of my life. Save file 2. I hope this is like picture jump scares. Great. Now there's a power outage. Oh. Go to sleep. <laughs> my Java skills. <laughs> Try jumping out the window? It's not that high, I'll make it. And then I'll call the cops to see what what is going on in this apartment. You lift up the window glass panel, and then you take a peek outside. And then you jump.
You survived. Fortunately, there was a pile of rubbish down there to take your fall. You hit his heart concrete, which was an instant death. Bad end. What did right mind would think? Oh, this. Did you leave him on the fifth floor or something? Oh, I don't know. I should try to call someone for help. You try to dial numbers on your cell phone, but you notice that your cell phone isn't getting any signal reception. It doesn't seem to be caused by some natural phenomena. My money is a total loss. I don't have any menus. Okay, lots of books on various topics. Java programming. So he's a programmer. And he likes occult things. Study of satanic... Something demon made easy. Okay. Uh... uh. Something fell out of the rack. It's a piece of paper with some strange language written on it. Pick it up. What? Earthquake? Okay, this is this is kind of game where you have to examine everything. The previous occupant left this box here. Let's see what it contains. Stuffed toys, dolls, all kind of toys. Basically, this box contained toys. They must have bought this for their children, I guess. Take a toy? Might be useful later on. You obtain a toy. Okay. So observe everything. Clock has stopped working. Not right now. I don't feel like eating right now. Pee pee. Nothing happened. I guess I have to go out. The hell is this? I want the door open. Is it locked from outside or is it jammed? Hell, I can't even escape from this apartment. Uh oh. I have a toy. I have a toy! Return back, return back, return back, return back, return. What do you want? Just go away! Go away! I have a toy. Do you want it? Return back, return. What do I do now? Give him the paper. It's a child. Probably wants the toy. Take this and get away from me. Help. Wait. What? what? Wait. Did he say help? Whatever, dude. File three. Not right now. What if I give him the... Oh, hey. It all happened so quickly that you couldn't understand anything until you realized that you are the brink of death. Bad end. What? Does that happen when I examine the... Yeah, okay, it don't examine that. I thought it was like a time thing. Okay, examine TV. I should do the trick. So this game has a spooky feeling, but I don't feel scared at the moment. It's turned on without any power. Watch some TV then. Bathroom. We need to use the bathroom now. I can't check my menu. Guess I'll go back to my own room. Oh, the PC's on. Awesome! How could it be on without any power? Okay, let's see what I got here. There's a Mozilla page open. The address for the web page is out. It's not present. The page contains an article. Okay, let me read it. On December 24th, 2002, two, Cthulhu, bodies of 13 children and an adult were found in a room 7 in a certain apartment. A policeman considered the perpetrator to be an adult man whose body was found along with the children. These children were reported to be missing since 20 December, December 12, 20 by their parents. The autopsy revealed that the man had a severe case of lung cancer, had only three more months to live. Police investigation brought out the fact that the man was per probably a satanist as, diff as different materials that are, that are used in the satanic rituals were found in his apartment. 
Moreover, he supposedly killed the children as a part of some satanic ritual. After that, he hanged himself. Also, the box is filled with various toys that were retrieved from his apartment, which are supposed to have some been used by him to lure the children into his park. Police commented that the children belong to the local neighborhood, and further added that the parents of these children are in great shock after hearing the story. There's also an image of the art in the article. Ooh, that's the bathroom, right? It looks like a bathroom. I can see a toilet. This is bad. <sighs> so messed up. I understand everything now. Everything's so clear now. Today is Saturday, December 21st, 2013. The last time December 21st was the Saturday was in... Oh shit. The prophecy is being fulfilled. Which means this event acted as a tricky for the things I'm experiencing now. But I still can't figure something out. It feels as if something is missing from the picture. Something crucial. Something I can't think of. Whoa, are you serious? Too dark for me. Fuck this. I've already tried that. It doesn't work. I can't save my game. TV. It looks like the bathroom. No? Fuck it. Where now? Exit now? I'm <laughs> not in the mood to go out right now. Well, you can go out. It's locked, remember? Uh, file 4. What do I check? It's really dark. Should I check this? Oh no, it kills me again. Uh, I shouldn't check that. <laughs> Why am we trying? So I should leave that place alone. You feel something is missing from the picture. Where do I go from there? It's pretty obvious that it's the bathroom, but I can't get in. Back in my room? Wait, it's 7 o'clock. No, it's still the same. So, I guess there's something in my room I missed. I got to think of something. The toy box? Check. Wait. Oh, here! A shiny! Something sprung is under the bed. It's present under the bed. Well, get it. You put your hand under the bed and pull the thing out. It's a key. You obtained the key. Great. Well, probably for the bathroom. File 4. Or this thing. The key fits perfectly. So you don't have the key, you die. Inside it, you find a bottle filled with some mysterious liquid. You obtain mysterious liquid. Now what? Nothing of interest here. Okay, I got the mysterious liquid. Uh, do I use it? Oh, maybe use it on my picture. Okay. All right, bathroom. Uh, this game doesn't have a menu, by the way, so I can't, like, check the item. Maybe I should try putting the piece of paper that I found earlier on the, on the door. Okay, now what do I do? Oh yes, I must try using the mysterious liquid. He sprinkles up the liquid on the paper. Wait. He just said he doesn't want to go in there, and now he wants to go in there? Yeah. Nothing happened. I knew it. Suddenly, something starts appearing on the paper. It looks like some kind of text. Beneath the text, there's a cross symbol and two blocks. You read the text, Surexa. Something sp- No, God. Some bullshit. And now in the blocks, I have to enter two digits. My occult knowledge is a test now. So, what is the number? I don't know. Fuck. I think I'm gonna try again. This is 
probably some of the books that has some clue to what the number might be. A lot of books, various coding, hidden language, 13 deadly rituals, 13 insects and codes, technical tools. Got a lot of boost power, but then. Computer has an idea. I'm guessing 13. It's the only number that appeared. Oh, that worked. This place looks normal to me. Even the lights are working properly. Okay, let's check for something that may help me escape to escape this nightmare. Nothing here. Everything looks a little normal that it feels like something's out of the place. There's nothing. This is where he hanged himself and all the children died. Okay, that scared me. Oh, here we go. You couldn't believe what was present before your eyes. My bathroom. How come there's dead bodies all over? Also, this body. It's hanging. Just like the picture. A hanging body suddenly starts swaying back and forth as if it's a vital force had entered inside it. Okay, that is creepy. That is very creepy. Even in this dreadful situation, you try to compose yourself. But then, a horrific rotten face of the body turns towards you and it moves. His loosely connected jaw. Well done, my boy. You've made it this far. Thanks to you, my poor soul will be saved. I've been waiting for this day for 11 years, for the right conditions to meet. <laughs> Today is the day then when Almighty Satan will bestow his powers to me and make me alive again. This is all thanks to you. Because of your arrival, all the conditions have been met, and now you'll act as the container for my soul. Maybe I should try to put some effects to this voice. 11 years ago when I performed this ritual, the subject who was supposed to contain my soul escaped by killing me. Escaped by killing me during the ritual. Then he hanged my body to make it look like a suicide. I had taken great pains to kidnap him, but alas, since then the time of in this apartment came frozen. Only after your arrival, things started to continue from where you were left off. Why am I telling you all these things? It's because your memories will soon become my memories. He begins murmuring something. You try to move your body away from him, but you find it but you find that it has been paralyzed for some unseen force. Oh unholy satanic spirit, give you my soul and unholiness to you. Transfer my soul onto his disvoiced body and take his soul as your feast. Blah blah blah, Satan. Blah blah blah. Take body. An unknown force attacks your body. No, I won't let you have my body, my soul, my body, they belong to me. Of course I will save my game. Save file one. Oh, battle time. Unholy soul. Unholy soul emerged. Ooh, ooh. I have skills. Uh, let's try. There's no effect on human. Do I just keep attacking? His attacks doesn't have any effect on me. See? No effect on human. And inner power does nothing. Guess I'll just keep attacking. Oh. 
Now I'm taking damage. attacking. All my other skills does nothing. Except my little thing. Okay, apparently the secret mantle does a lot more damage. I should have done that. Human was defeated. You try your best, but it's impossible to win against unearthly forces. Your body now belongs to the Satanist, and nobody knows what deed he's going to commit with it. <laughs> Hello, Mom. I won't be back soon. Ha 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 This is the power of Papada. Satan. True end? <laughs> this body feels perfect. Now, it is time for the next ritual. Time to find my new prey. A few days later. This is true end? This is me at 7 in the evening, okay? Yes, don't worry, we're definitely going to finish the project by tomorrow. You know the address to an apartment, right? Yes? and YouTube. Get it the game. Okay, let's see if we can defeat the unholy spirit with the inner mantra. Inner mantra seems to be the thing that is most damage. The that end. Did it! Human was victorious. It's over. I banish you to hell. Be gone! Occult. I experienced something that can't be described in my, my mere words. People won't believe me, but there are things that can't be believed without experiencing, and they have no scientific explanation. Good end. Okay, it's time to write some codes. Oh yes, about that incident. Whatever happened that night is something that's beyond the comprehension level of an average human. 
Did I really trigger those events? Do I still like occult? Who knows? And I got this weird, bad, I don't know, good end. Where it's like, eh, whatever. So I guess that was really the room now. It has multiple endings, so it has where you just sleep, you jump out the window, you get caught by the ghost, and you get possessed, and you defeat the ghost. Five endings, I think. So, I got it. Thanks for playing. So now I gotta leave you guys with a high five. Bam! <laughs>